You thought Jeremy Effier was bad? Wait till you see this one. Coach Greg, and I got some disappointing news for you today. Dr. Mike Diamonds is spewing out more spews for more views. Sorry, here to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And what you want to hear clearly is this. How to lose stubborn fat in a week. Four simple science-based steps. I first saw this come out a bit over a week ago and I was like, oh, a couple thousand views. Again, with the clickbaity titles, eh, I'm not even gonna watch this. It's got over a million freaking views all of a sudden in a week. A million morons have been duped, tricked, lied to, whatever you want to call it, into thinking that this is actually quality scientific information. No, you can't fool Coach Greg. No, I'm sorry, you can't fool Coach Greg. Ready? Let's go for a ride. Let's see what kind of nonsense is he spewing. Oh, I'm Dr. McDonald. I just got back from a holiday. Look at me. I'm fat. And boo, now I got ripped abs. Probably did it in a week. You're already intrigued. You're like, geez, loose stubborn body fat in a week. I see him. He looked pretty chubby. And then he had a freaking amazing six pack. I'm going to watch because obviously he did that in a week. How to lose belly fat in one week. Hi, Dr. Mike Diamonds. That's me. I just come back from holiday. I enjoyed it to the fullest. No diet, no training, and weighed in at almost 200 pounds. Enjoying yourself for some reason means I'm gonna stop working out, stop exercising, stop being fit, and eat shit. If that is you, you are on the wrong diet and you are on the wrong exercise program. 24.4 pounds later, weighing in at 173.6 pounds, I've lost a significant amount of weight. Do you think he did that in a week? Do you think maybe some of the people that watch this might have thought, hey, that's in a week? I've watched this several times, and every time I see, he's giving the impression he's lost 24 pounds in a week. He's used these principles to lose all this weight. If you've only watched the first 35 seconds of this video, you're thinking, well, it's a week. The video is lose stubborn belly fat in one week. 35 seconds into the video, he's shown his before and after transformation, which was several weeks, but it's under the impression it's a week. More frickin' spews for more views. This is not the kind of social influencer you should be watching. Let's kick it off. Step one, the simple science dictates that weight loss and weight gain is known as your energy balance. And at the end of the day, if you're in a negative balance, you're gonna burn fat. If you're in a positive, you're gonna store fat. Everyone already gets this. So great on you to scientific information. Oh boy, let's get ready for number two. The second tip is fasting. Intermittent fasting or time-restricted feeding is when you're consuming all of the day's calories within a set time window. I can't wait to tell you what he said about this. And this isn't even the worst one, but I can't wait to tell you about it, but I'm still gonna watch. A popular 2007 research paper showed that oxidation rates of free fatty acids are roughly doubled after fasting. Oh, a popular research paper supports this. How many of you have read the research paper that he posted on the screen? Raise your hand, no one. Oh, interesting. Your body's able to both mobilize and burn more fat during your workouts than when the insulin levels are elevated. Sounds great, till you read the study. It sounds amazing, until you read the study. More spews for more views. Telling you what you want to hear, not what you need to hear. I'm gonna tell you what you need to hear right now. I read the study. This is what the study actually says. And this is what he's gonna tell you. It says, hey, if you fast like me for 16 hours and then eat for eight, you're gonna mobilize more fat from your abs. You're gonna get abs quicker. Right, babe? What I found in our front yard. Also not mine. Crunchy I chocolate. I get blamed when this is the second time chocolate bars are blown into our- Back to the video. <laughs> So he's saying you fast for 16 hours and eat for eight, and then it allows you to burn more stubborn belly fat because it's, it's mobilized better. You burn more fat from your stomach. I'm keep it simple. This is what the actual study says. They took 10 participants, 72 straight hours where all they were allowed to do was drink water. And guess how much exercise they did? Zero exercise, zero, none. So they took those people for 72 hours, didn't let them eat or drink anything for 72 hours. Then they laid them on a table and did tests for 24 hours. And it was a nightmare. Imagine having to do that. 
No food for 72 hours. So they found after 72 hours, maybe it's better because we did a study on 10 people. What does Mike Diamonds do? Oh, well, because of that, so here, I fast for 16 hours and then I work out and everything. Personally, I fast for 16 hours and eat in an eight hour window period. So it applies to me because, hey, if it works after 72 hours, the same thing must apply after 16. It would be like me saying, hey, I read a research paper. It said, if you fast for 16 hours, you're going to live longer. So guess what? What I do is I fast for two hours and I eat every two hours. I eat about 12 meals a day and I'm going to live so long. It's crazy because, well, there's a study that says if you fast for 16 hours, then I'm going to live longer. So I'm fasting for two hours because the study says that if you fast for 16, you live longer. Same exact freaking comparison. You can't compare a 72 hour fast to a 16 hour fast and say the same things apply. Do you see how stupid that is? It makes zero sense. And that's just the, and it's just the tip of the iceberg. It gets way worse. You think that was it? This is just one small, small smidgen of what this spews for viewers is doing in this video. Let's watch some more. Tip number three, sleep. And tip number three is sleep. And so I'm going to sleep next to my diploma so that I can brag and show off to you that I have a degree. That means that whatever I say, whether it's wrong or right, you're going to now listen to. I don't care if you have a degree or not. I'm going to look at the actual information and tell you what you need to hear, not just what you want to hear like this guy's doing. Without getting too deep in the science, all the recovery is done in your sleep. It's the dark horse of fat loss. And uh, since I'm presenting scientific information here, I'm just going to tell you, get more sleep. I don't want to tell you any of the scientific information. I recommend anywhere between seven and eight hours at the bare minimum six. Just trust me because I'm a doctor. You need to sleep. Let's just skip all scientific information. I don't have to stop. I don't have time for that anymore. Now that I'm an actual doctor, I don't have to actually present any scientific information. Remember, this is the studies. The title of this video, how to lose stubborn belly fat, four simple science based steps. Step number three, get more sleep. Don't mind that I'm not giving you any science. Just trust me. Just trust me because I am a doctor. Trust me, I'm a freaking doctor. But now that I've gotten my degree, I don't need to study anymore. I'll just say stuff and you just believe it. Without getting too deep in the science, all the recovery is done in your sleep. It's the dark horse of fat loss. And that's something that you're probably lacking. I'll recommend anywhere between seven and eight hours at the bare minimum six. But without further ado, let's go on to tip number four. What kind of information is that? Babe, how would you do on a bare minimum of six hours? I would not be well. Right. How about if you slept seven to eight hours, which is what he recommends? I eat eight plus. I don't need, I need at least eight. So Allie needs eight plus hours of sleep. Dr. Mike Tony said, hey, seven to eight hours. I coach some clients that need over 10 hours sleep. No one knows. You can't just say, get a certain amount of sleep and you're good. No, and he didn't present any scientific evidence to say that it burns specifically belly fat. He just said you need sleep. Everyone knows you need enough sleep. I mean, that's such a general blanket statement. It would be like me saying, hi, everybody. You need to sleep to be a functioning human being. Everybody, you need to eat to live. Everybody, if you don't ever eat or drink, you'll eventually die. Human beings need to excrete waste. You need to poop and pee at least once a year to function as an livable human being. Yeah, of course, we already know we need to sleep. So he spent time to say, hey, you need sleep. You didn't say specifically what science says you need or how that strategically is going to attack stubborn belly fat. You just said sleep. Step three, sleep. So, so far we have, you need to sleep. And you need to fast for 16 hours because the fasting study on 72 hours of fasting said so. And you need to meet a calorie deficit. 
Boy, we're learning a lot of this video so far now, aren't we? We're getting to the best part. Tip number four is supplements. But before I dive in, myself and my sponsors, EHP Labs, will be doing a giveaway in this video of a $100 voucher. Step number four, I see it's based on scientific studies, is hey, I'm sponsored by a supplement company. Hey, buy my supplements. I've also find having a whey protein in my diet to help with my hunger. So he's talking about whey protein, how it's satiating for him and whatever. And this is the study he chooses to show. Nutrient timing revisited. Is there a post-exercise anabolic window? So this is what the paper then hypothesizes. It, it's a sense he highlights this on the screen real quick. You may have not noticed. The post-exercise period is widely considered the most critical part of nutrient timing. So he highlights that to make it look like the post-anabolic window is important. It was a question that they thought, let's do a study to see if it is. And it's not. But he posts the question at the start and not the answer. And listen, we're talking about his whey protein satiating. And he's talking about protein consumed after exercising. And is it important or not? What does that have to do with it? It's satiating or if it's whey protein even. What else did he highlight? So he highlights the solution is consumed after exercise, primarily because of an increase in muscle protein synthesis as a result of increased delivery of amino acids to the leg. So he highlights that because if you read the highlights, you think, Hey, if you drink that drink, there's an increase in muscle protein synthesis, which then kind of supports that original hypothesis that said, Hey, it's widely believed to be this case. Do you know what that solution was? And do you know what they actually did in the study? That solution was six grams of protein with 35 grams of sugar. And it was comparing it consumed before exercise to after and get this, the before was better than the after. That's right. The drink with six grams of protein, 35 grams of sugar before training was shown to be better for muscle protein synthesis than after the exercise. So it in fact proves the opposite of what he was trying to say. He cherry picked the sentence from the freaking study to make it look like what he was saying was true. And in, and in any case, it has nothing to do with what he was saying in the first place, which was I've also find having a whey protein in my diet to help with my hunger. What does this have to do with whey protein being satiated? Not only does he cherry pick the study, he cherry picks the sentences from studies that have nothing to even do with what he's trying to say. I've also find having a whey protein in my diet to help with my hunger. It would be like saying that Gertie's favorite food is popcorn. Here's some proof. I fed a dog chicken and they liked it more than when I fed the dog strawberries. Great proof. Wow. Dr. Mike Diamond literally chose a study, cherry picked it, took a sentence from it that isn't true, that's been proven not to be true, and then took the sentence proving that before was better than after, and then said, hey, see? I've also find having a whey protein in my diet to help with my hunger. Are you with me? Do you understand how pathetic this is? How much of a liar he is? Oh my goodness, he could sue you defecation of character. Yeah, I could defecate on him, exactly. It's horrible. How dare you, Mike Diamonds, in doing this? You need to take the video down. Oh, I'm not taking it down. I got 1.4 million views and 30,000 new subs came from this video. More spews for more views. Why go to Coach Greg's videos that aren't full of shit and watch those when he tells me, ah, oh, you can't really burn all that stubborn belly fat in a week. You probably got to work hard. Probably take you three months to do it. Why would I watch Coach Greg's videos when Dr. Mike Myman says, hey, there's four simple steps, all based on studies that are nonsensical. So he's using science, but it's no actual science. It's nonsense, no science, nonsense. That's what he's selling you. He's selling lies and he's going to continue to do so. And let's see what's his most recent video that he's just posted. Morning routine to lose stubborn belly fat, daily fasted cardio plus training. 
Oh, you only got 5.7 thousand views in three hours. That's about what I get in 13 minutes in my videos. And you know why? Because it doesn't say the word easy and it doesn't say 10 minutes. It doesn't say hit. It says this morning routine to burn fat. And people don't like a routine. That sounds like work. I have to actually do something over and over. And if you say, hey, morning routine to lose fat in a week, maybe that'll get views. Daily fasted cardio and training. Daily. Should have been do this once, burn fat forever. That get 37,000 views in three hours. What else has he posted? Realistic, what I eat to lose stubborn fat, full day of eating. Well, it doesn't say he can eat whatever he wants. So he got a decent amount of views, 106,000 is pretty good. Not even close to 1.3, 1.4 million from the other video that now is it. Because it's not lying enough as, hey, this is what I ate to lose fat. A week ago he posted, I took creatine for 14 days and this happened. 24,000 views. He would have needed to say, I lost 24 pounds by taking creatine for a week. Maybe that gives you friggin' views. Here I am trying to have a friggin' good channel, giving you accurate information, and I watched this friggin' video explode after I saw it the first day. It's like, oh, 14,000 views. Nah, not very, I'm not doing a video on this guy. It's full of shit. I'm not even gonna watch it. And all of a sudden, there's over a million views in a friggin' week. Full of misinformation. None of my videos get a million views in a week, ever. And they're all way better than this. Not one video have I ever made has been as bad as this, ever. Not fair, more views for more views. But this is not well researched yet, but this is what I use and I'll leave it at that. But those are my supplement recommendations. This is exactly what I'm using for transparency. And yeah, yeah, on and on buying my supplements. I don't give a shit about the supplements. Whatever he said to this point's enough. GregDuset.com for coaching, Greg Doucet IP Pro. Bloop it up two videos. Make one of them get a million views. This is getting a million views. I should have 10 million. And until next time, Swoosh! If you subscribe, I'm out. He could sue you defecation of character. Yeah, I could defecate on him, exactly.